If you want to stay broke, if you do not want to have financial security, if you want to go from having financial security to becoming broke, then try to impress other people. Trying to impress other people will absolutely always put you in a position where you will have less financial security than you could have otherwise, or you'll have no financial security at all. And I'll tell you myself, for an example, I'll give you my own story. Um, when I first started to make really good money, I had the mindset that I have to live in a way, dress in a way, and do everything in a way that reflects the level of success that I've accomplished. That's what I told myself, but what really was under that was that I need to impress other people. I need to impress other people. And, you know, a large part of it was I'm no different than anybody else. You know, I am someone where I live my life in a way where I really want to help people, but I have self-esteem challenges just like anybody else, just like anybody else. And so just like anybody else, I like to do things that make me feel some form of validation. But the problem is when we look for validation in areas that are really hurting us. So we're getting validation, but we're getting hurt at the same time. And one of the things that was doing that to me was trying to impress other people by how I spent money. Because I got the validation of people saying, oh, wow, you look so successful. Oh, wow, I can tell you're so successful. But I was being hurt because I wasn't building wealth. You know, or I, in some cases, if I had a cash flow shortage in a particular month because maybe the business didn't make as much money, I would have put myself in a position where I had to use credit that particular month. Because I spent so much money waiting on money to come in, so you got to use credit. So you're hurting yourself because it's interest that you're now, that's now being applied for you to be able to maintain a level of spending that's all for the sake of impressing other people, you know? And I see it so much. I see it so much in our society. I see it so much in sometimes with folks who come into my office where I look at their spending and I say, wow, you could find validation in another area. You could find validation in another area that's outside of you depleting your financial resources to impress other people. And it goes beyond just trying to impress other people. Sometimes it's a matter of trying to, I call it the savior, Complex. It's not something I made up, but this is something, it's something that's really commonly spoke about. The savior complex. Where I've seen people where they are so focused on the minute that they get extra money, you know, they seek validation through trying to make sure they can help other people. So people come to them, hey, can you help me with this? Can you bail me out of that? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do the other? And they say yes every time, knowing that it's not helping them because they're looking for the validation that comes in knowing people can count on me. You can come to me when you need money. I'm, I'm the person who can help everybody. You know, when it comes down to it, trying to impress other people, trying to be everyone's savior, trying to be everyone's go-to person, when it comes to money, it all comes back to the same thing. It's using money to create validation for yourself that you need to be seeking elsewhere. You need to be getting that validation from somewhere else. You need to be working on the core self-esteem issue that's making you need that validation in the first place. You need to stop depleting your wealth and stop depleting your ability to create wealth for yourself through seeking validation with how you spend your money. It will keep you broke. When you hear about all these people who win the lottery, who go into professional sports and make a ton of money, who go into um, in the entertainment industry and make tons and tons and tons of money, and you hear about them being broke, five years after their biggest album hit, or five years after they left the NFL. Why is that? It's the same story repeatedly. It's the exact same story repeatedly. Using money to impress other people and using money to be everyone else's savior. That's what it always comes down to. Absolutely always no exceptions to that rule. So if we see that that's a sure recipe to be able to create financial insecurity, to be able to create poverty in your life, to take yourself from wealth to poverty, then if you're trying to be on the way up, if you're on your come up right now and you're trying to earn more, why repeat the same mistakes that we've seen these other people make? We've seen it. And I'm telling you this for myself, who's done it. I'm sitting here telling you this as the CEO of a national financial services company. That's, that all is being said to say, I'm not broke, okay? <laughs> all right? So being in this position, if you want to maintain whatever you've built for yourself, you've absolutely got to make the choice that you are not going to use your money in a way to seek validation from other people. That you are going to solely use your money to create wealth for yourself. Even if that means that you got to tell some people sometimes, I can't afford to do that. 
Ooh, that used to tear, tear me up to tell someone, I can't afford to do this right now. Saying I can't afford to do this right now doesn't mean that I'm broke. It doesn't mean that I'm not good enough. It doesn't mean I'm less than you. Saying I can't afford to do this right now is my way of saying the money that requires me to do this right now, I have not allocated for that purpose. Therefore, I have to decline right now. But if I, had, I didn't think about that mindset in the first place, when I used to think about it as was I have to say yes to you because saying yes to you will make you view me in a certain way, right, which validates me and makes me feel good, even though it's hurting me financially. So if you really want to be able to grow wealth for yourself and then retain it after you get it, then you've got to stop. I can't repeat this enough. You've got to stop using money as a way to seek validation from other people because that's a recipe for poverty.